Hey everyone, and welcome back to Shady Side Library. My name is Zach, and today I've got a video that I've been seeing trending on BookTube and wanted to uh, do it myself. I don't really do like TBR videos or anything like that, but I do like to share what I'm reading. And I've been reading a lot lately so I thought it'd be fun to make this video but it's called 10 before the end in other words 10 books I want to read before the year ends and I'll be honest I I got I got more than 10 books here but some of them are like criminally short so I will start with the book I am reading right now. I'm going to go ahead and count it. Oh yeah, wait, before we proceed, can we take a moment and get in the Christmas spirit? It says Fleece Navidad. Yeah, pretty, pretty awesome, I will say. It's like my only Christmas shirt. Anyways, okay, uh, so the book I'm reading right now uh, is written by a friend of mine, and he is actually going to be ecstatic to know that I'm reading his book because I've been putting it off, putting off reading it for absolutely no reason at all. And I'm already like 50 pages in, and I'm kind of loving it. So that is uh, The Forsaken Boy by Troy Trudup. Troy has a YouTube channel. I will link it down below. I'll also link where you can purchase this book. And, um, yeah, you'll hear more about this. I'll, I'll probably do a review on it, in which I, I should. I think I told him I would when he sent that to me, which was a long time ago. So, thank you, Troy. I'm enjoying your book so far, and it is on my list to complete before the end of the year. Okay, now we're going to do some heavy hitters, because I know that's kind of what you guys want to see. Alright, this one, this one might shock you guys for a bit, but I want to know what the hype's all about. I want to read Fourth Wing. It's a pretty thick book. I, I got this really cool edition with the sprayed edges, and it's the holiday edition. I don't know, I, I picked it up a good while ago just because it's, I see it everywhere. Some people rave about it, some people say this is weird and awful and I don't know. I want to see what it's all about and if I enjoy it, I can read the sequel and then there's a third book coming out in January. So, if I want to you know, be caught up in this universe, I, I better read this one before the year ends. So, that's Fourth Wing, and that's a romantic -y book. And, spoiler, I just finished reading Akatar, A Court of Thorns and Roses. I want to say it's my first romantic -y book. And I, I, I was not, I was not a big fan. <laughs> so uh, we'll see. Maybe Fourth Wing's different. I don't know. I mean, it is. It's, it's got dragons and stuff, but I don't know. Okay, uh, this one's a heavy hitter, but very ambitious. Uh, but I really would like to read this before the year ends, and that's because it's a part of, well. It is the December book club book for Crits or Christine's book, uh, Christine and, um, oh, what's, why am I blanking? Uh, Cliff from Cliff Stark Gems. Uh, their book club called Fright Club, their December pick is Nosferatu. And this is by Joe Hill, Stephen King's son, and I have never read a Joe Hill book. Terrible, right? I'm not sure this is the 
best place to start, but I have heard some crazy good things about Nosferatu. And it is Christmas themed, so I have no reason not to read this. I mean, well, I have a lot of reasons to read this. And my only thing is, is it's a big book. So, uh, but I mean, that's kind of what this 10 before the end is. It's like, you know, cranking out those books that you've been kind of putting off all year. And here's another heavy hitter that I've been putting off. And that's How to Sell a Haunted House. A book I heard great things about. And I still have not read a Grady Hendrix book. Terrible, right? And he has a book coming out in January. So this is his current most recent release. And I think it's been a long time since he's released it. But I'm just behind so I would like to read this and then read his book that comes out in January. And this was sent to me by Christine over at Crits Reads. So thank you. That's another reason why I should read it. Because she raved about how good it was and sent it to me. So thank you. Okay, here's a, a funny one. I read the first Silent Night book probably three years ago. And every year I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to read books two and three in the series. Never do. They're Fear Street books. I love Fear Street and these aren't that long. I, I can blow through a Fear Street book really quick. And of course, Christmas... So, yes, I'll count that as one book, but we're going to get into a lot of middle grade. All right, so, of course, Thanksgiving is coming up, and I don't know when I'm going to post this video, but it might have already passed. But I want to read Frank and Turkey, at least the first one. But why not read the second one, too? So, yeah. I've read A Bone Chillers. I loved it. And so, why not read the only Thanksgiving book I own? And, yeah. So, I would love to read that. And I heard it's actually a decent book. So, why not read it? Okay, here, let's get to another one. I, I can't believe I haven't read this yet. The third book in the House of Shiver series. It came out, I don't know, probably almost like two months ago, which I usually read this like days after it comes out. I don't know why I haven't read this one yet. Horrible. And the fourth book in this series comes out in March. So I have plenty of time, but I I usually put out a review for the latest Goosebumps book like right away. And I haven't done that. So I even have a bookmark in it. Ready to go. So, yeah. Another short book that I should be able to plow through uh, in just a day or two. So I don't even know how many books that is that I've showed. One, two, three, four. Technically it's like seven. Um, but I do have more here. Um, so a lot of these last ones are actually arcs. Uh, that I, or not necessarily arcs, but just books that authors have sent to me. And I really want to get to these because a lot of them are middle grade. And spooky middle grade. Uh, what's not to love? Uh, so this one is by Alex R. Knight. 
And it's a part of the Screamer series that he's writing. And this one's called The Voodoo Man. So would really like to read that. Uh, this is The Bounded Curse uh, by Anna Stanovitev. I'm sorry, I'm not even going to try to pronounce your last name. Maybe you can tell me in the comments. Uh, but uh, this is The Bounded Curse, another very short book. Um, then there's uh, Electric Eyes by A.J. Spencer. He sent this to me. He said it's like a, a Goosebumpsy Fear Street type book. And I said, heck yeah. And then this one was sent to me by A.D.R.O. That's Bumps in the Night. I, I really want to get to this one. I, I don't know why I've been putting it off. But, um, oh. Fright Vision. I actually have a, a handful of these books uh, that were sent to me. Um, I really want to know what this series is all about because I love making videos and titling them The Future of Middle Grade Horror. And, you know, there's a lot of series out there that I think could potentially be the future of middle grade horror. One of them being... Scareville, and I made a video about the first Scareville book, loved it, well, John was kind enough to send me book, well, actually, I don't, I don't know if, oh, okay, this is book four in the series, but it's the Christmas book, and he signed it for me, so thank you very much for the signed copy, John. I definitely want to read this and he actually got picked up by a publisher so these are all going to get republished and then of course he's going to add to the series so yeah okay and two more i all oh, three more uh so yeah I, i'm not going to get to all of these but there's a chance i don't know I, i'm a mood reader so at least i have a, a chunk of books that I can choose from. Um, okay, what next? Uh, let's do this one. So I've been reading a lot of anthologies lately because I'm writing some short stories. And this one I purchased from Juan. And yeah, he wrote a nice little note and uh, signed it for me. But this is called Poking Holes, and it's it's all written by Juan, so I'm not sure it's considered an anthology. I think just a short story collection. But uh, this is, I think it's considered extreme horror. And he even prefaced, like, yo, if this is too gross or too gruesome or too heavy for you, don't be afraid to put it down. But... I ain't afraid, so I want to read it, and it's got great reviews, so Juan, I will be reading your book. Okay, this was another book sent to me, and uh, this is someone who I've spoke a little bit with, and um, he has a new book that just released as well. So I definitely want to read that. Um, so I should probably start with the one that was sent to me. Um, but that's Oliver Seneca. Faces in, yeah, faces in a window. So yeah, I really want to read this one. I believe it's horror, but I think it's more adult horror. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure what it's about. But I've got a bookmark in here that's... Yeah, nice. Oh, yeah. Little bookmark. Uh, and yeah, he uh, even signed it for me. So, wonderful. Uh, thank you, Oliver. 
I'm going to try to link all these people in the description, but I know I'm going to forget or not. I don't know. But Oliver has a YouTube channel that you guys should totally check out. And um, I believe he's on Instagram as well. Okay, last and definitely not least is Mina and the Undead. This is by Amy McCall, who is a fellow booktuber. And she has three books in this series, I believe. And I found this one at a half price books somehow. She doesn't even live in this country. So kind of wild to find this. And I really want to read it and then potentially read the rest of the series and then read her new book coming out in March or April, uh, early 2025. So yeah, this is a YA kind of like throwback um, thriller horror book. So yeah, really want to get to this and there is something else. Um, two more. One, and I'll pop a picture up because this one's not released yet, but that is the newest Dogman book. It comes out like December 6th or 4th or 3rd or like really early December, but I pretty much read the Dogman books in one sitting, and they're a blast. So, we'll be reading the new Dogman book. And then, last but not least, I have this on my Kindle, but this is Served Cold. And it is a booktube, horror tube anthology. A lot of authors who contributed stories in it, I have communicated with, some I consider friends, some I just watch their videos, but I recently read Lurking in the Dark. I recently read Lurking in the Dark and really enjoyed it. <clears throat> and Served Cold is another anthology that Regina St. Clair put together. And I want to read it because it's holiday, Christmas, just wintry themed. And there's no better time to dive into it right now because I'm writing some short spooky stories and it's winter. Well, almost. So <clears throat> that's my uh, more like 20 before the end, but uh, 10 before the end video. So that was fun to make. I, I had fun picking out all these and I'm sure I'm going to end up reading some other stuff too because I... I'm a mood reader, and sometimes I'm just in the mood for not something in this stack. I know there's more that I'm forgetting, but I'm going to end the video here because it's already been 20 minutes. Thanks for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.